Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox here. In this video, we're going to test the hash rate of the RTX 3070. Now, I know I'm not the first one, or even the, probably the first hundred or a thousand people to put videos up on testing the hash rate of this card, but I'm gonna be doing it anyway, so I figured I might as well record it. So what I have here, this is the EVGA RTX 3070 specifically. This is the XC3 Ultra. Pretty sick looking card, besides the fans, which I'm just not a fan of. Um, but otherwise, the build quality on EVGA just can't be beat. We got two eight pins on this card. Um, just really a nice looking card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, get it plugged into my test bench here. We're gonna start mining Ethereum. We're gonna monitor the wattage at the wall and go from there. So let me get this hooked up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the 3070 installed in the test bench here. So next step is to fire up this rig and start hashing. So let's see. Okay, got it fired up. The wattage is climbing already. Fans on the GPU are spinning. We got some LEDs on that EVGA logo. That looks pretty sick. Just really, really nice looking card. I love the build quality of EVGA. This one will probably go up in my gaming PC. I was gonna put the 3080 on in there, but it's too big. I have a mini ITX build, so I think I'm gonna put this up there. It'll replace my EVGA 2070 Super. All right, so Windows is booted up and you can see with the GPU, that's my idle wattage. So right around, let me say like 35, 40 watts without mining with the GPU installed. So next up is, let's go ahead and load up. I'm gonna use Phoenix Miner for this video. Um, T-Rex is definitely better at this point for uh, Ethereum mining on NVIDIA, but Phoenix Miner, it works a little faster, which gives us faster results when we're filming a video. So that's what I'm gonna use. So let's go ahead and launch that up. Uh, I'm running stock right now. I haven't done any overclocks yet. So we're gonna see that wattage really climb once we start mining. There it goes. I mean, oh yeah, 275 watts it just hit already. So we're still building the DAG for Ethereum. Already got a share though, we hit 52 watts. We'll let that settle out for a second there. Now, the 3070 is definitely not the card you wanna get if you had a choice for mining Ethereum. The 3060 Ti is the better buy. And I'll tell you why, because it's cheaper. Um, all the specs that I've seen, all the results I've seen, they're gonna hash almost around the same but this card at MSRP prices when it was first released was $100 more. And I think the gap there might be even wider right now because of tariffs and all the other things um, impacting GPU prices. But this seems to be more available, so get what you can right now. Okay, so according to the software, we're using about 200 watts, getting about 52 mega hash. Um, and that seems pretty accurate to the wall, actually, like really accurate, because that's reading about 237. So what we'll do now is we're gonna open MSI Afterburner down here. And what I like to do first, you can do this a bunch of different ways, what I like to do first is really just see what this GPU is made of. I'm not gonna touch the power limit. What I'm gonna do is definitely get this over uh, core clock down to negative 502, that's the lowest it will go. Ethereum is a memory hard algorithm, which means it uses memory to, uh, to solve the algorithm, to put in the work. And that's what we'll be overclocking here in a second. But let's just let this settle out for a minute uh, with that core clock lower down to negative 502. I don't expect we're gonna see the power limit, I mean the power at the wall change at all until I start lowering that, but that's what we're gonna do last. Uh, and this is the way I generally overclock my NVIDIA cards start that core clock down see if it negatively impacts your hash rate if it does you might have to raise it up a little bit if not you're usually in good shape and it looks like that's exactly what's happening now we're in really good shape so what we're going to do then is take 
our memory clock. I know this card can probably take a lot. It's a good card. So I'm going to start at a thousand. And you know what? For our sake here, I'm just going to get that fan speed up to 80 so we don't run into any issues. It's in an open air frame, so I don't expect we will, but just in case, right? All right, so look at our mega hash already. It's climbed from 52 up to 59. Maybe we'll hit 60 here in a second. Now the 3060 Ti will do about 61 and a half mega hash or so at 120 watts. And this card should do about the same efficiency, but a little more hash, a little more wattage. So all right, we settled out around 59. So you know what, let's take this up from the thousand, we'll take it to 1200. Let's not mess around right now. Okay. And the thing you wanna watch for, and it may not happen right now in this video, but you wanna watch for obviously crashes, everything shutting down, but you also wanna watch for if you're getting any invalid or incorrect shares submitted to the pool, which generally means that your overclocks are too high and you wanna dial it back. And what I usually do is just let them run for about 24 hours just to see just to make sure I'm really stable, and then I might bump it up just a little bit more. And then if I get some incorrect shares, I'll pull it back a little bit and retest. Okay, so we're at 61.39 mega hash per second at 220 watts because we haven't power limited anything yet. So right there, that's about 3060 Ti hash rate. Um, okay, so let's, you know what, let's do this. Let's take this up a little bit because we still seem pretty stable. We're gonna go 1300. And let's see where we get there. And then once we settle on a decent memory overclock, uh, we'll start dialing down that power until it negatively impacts our hash rate. And then we'll know that we landed in a good spot and we'll see what kind of efficiency we get. All right, we're at 62. So we'll let that settle out for a second there. I didn't take the plastic off the fan, so I apologize. One day I'll get there. See the wattage, we're running around 260 watts on the power meter. Okay, where do we settle? 62? Yeah, so 62.1. So uh, let's see what this is made of. Let's see if we can get up to 1400. Seems like 1500 is the max, Look at that, looking at that slider there. Uh, which usually will get us in bad territory with incorrect shares and stuff, so... Uh, but so far, so good. Let's see where 1400 gets us. Let's see if we can get to that 63 mega hash per second. I think this card can do. And we're getting pretty close. Let's see what we get here. There we go, 62.9. Come on, can we get there? Oh, so close, so close, so close. I really, I mean, it uh, might be able to do more, but we're almost, we're almost maxed out on memory clock there. And just knowing what other people's results have been with this GPU, I think we're in a pretty good spot. So I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna call it there. I might push a little bit more, but just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it there. So let's do this. Let's start power limiting this. I'm not sure what it can go down to. And as we do this, we'll take a look at efficiency. Uh, let's just start with 80. Let's take a look at that power meter. It should drop. Yep, it's dropped quite a bit. And the software, we dropped from, what, 224 down to 191. So looking good. So let's go a little more. Uh, let's go probably 60. Let's see. I'm going to put you on the power meter while I do this. And we'll see. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. 225. Ooh, look at that drop. Down to 175 for the, uh, for the whole rig there. Let's see what the software says. Got us down to 143. Mega Hash has remained untouched just under 63 mega hash so looking really good there okay so this card should be able to go a little bit lower so let's go ahead and test that uh let's go i'm gonna go 55 on the power limit 
And let's see where we get. There we go. We dropped at the wall. What are we at? 160. So that should probably land us around 130, right? For the whole uh, for the card. Yep. So that's 131.3. But that hash rate still is is pretty much untouched. So let's challenge this just a little bit, just to see how far we can get. Uh, 55. I'm going to go a little bit at a time. Oops. I'm going to go 54. Uh, this is the territory you get into where you kind of just take it really, really slow. And you might only shave off one water or two, but you really want to see if your mega hash drops or not. So we were at like 62.9. So I want to make sure you stay in that territory, which we are looking pretty good. Okay, so, and we dropped uh, a couple watts, so 129. So let's do a little bit more until we really see that drop off a cliff. And then we'll know we went too far and we'll just pull it back. And again, this is the approach I take uh, for all NVIDIA overclocking, especially for Ethereum. So 129. Not much has changed there at the wall. Let's see what the software reports. So still 62.9, so I think we're in good shape. I just want to see what that wattage pulls up. What do we get? 126.9. Okay. Let's go 52. And let's see what happens here and how low we can get this. 52. All right. Our mega hash is dropping, so that might have been the breaking point here. Let's see. Not too bad. Eh, it's gonna, probably going to keep going. It's dropping like 0.1 mega hash every time it refreshes here. I mean, it's not terrible. 62.4. You know what we should do? We should we should uh, figure out <laughs> our efficiency here. Let me open Notepad. And I'll show you how I do this, just in case you haven't done it. Um, so before we had, what did we have? We had 60. We'll just call that 63 at 100, we had 127 watts. Um, and that would give us, let's open calculator. So what do we say here? So we do 63 divided by 127, gives us a 0.49 efficiency. Um, the just to compare the 3060 Ti will give you about a 0.51 efficiency for what it can do, uh, and then right now we're at 62.5, and hitting 124.7 watts. Let's see where that lands us. Divide by 127, oh, 120, yeah, 4.7. Uh, that gives us even better, actually. That's a 0.5 on the efficiency. Which is pretty good. Uh, just below the 3060 Ti, but as far as initial overclocks, that's in a really good spot to be. Super happy with that. So, hey guys, that's uh, that's the RTX 3070 overclocks. Um, for Ethereum, I'm going to tweak this a little bit more. I'm going to see, make sure I'm not getting any invalid shares here in the miner. I may push that memory just a little bit at a time. Um, and that power limit seems to be in a good spot. But what I'll be trying to do is make sure that I'm staying at a 0.5 efficiency, which is just honestly a tremendous efficiency. These new GPUs from NVIDIA just absolutely crush it uh, in mining so that's it for this video um, please hit the like button if you like the video subscribe for more content on gpu mining specifically and as always please take care of yourself take care of each other and i will see you in the next video